Hey, what's up, guys? Super Squirtle 78 here, back in our video, guys. As you guys can see by the title, we're actually going to be discussing here the new leaked zombies footage. Um, I will not be showing any of it here on the channel uh, currently, not until the game does drop on Friday night, morning, whatever you want to call it, November 12th at 12 a.m. Eastern, or November 13th at 12 a.m. Eastern. I will be streaming it. The game will be showing off gameplay of it. Um, obviously, I'm going to show you guys this, these trailers and stuff, uh, let them play out. But pretty much, guys, I'm going to go over what the game actually looks like. It's really crazy. There's an intro cutscene for Daimashina. I can talk, obviously, about the leaks, um, but I do not want to get into gameplay uh, just because you should not be posting it. Uh, it should not be posted until the game does launch or, you know, the, the Activision lifts the... Uh, the 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 um the embargo to you know show gameplay and stuff so obviously i can't show gameplay um but some leaked gameplay footage has surfaced here on the internet and um it's gonna be crazy boys like i said there's a lot of leaked stuff already on youtube itself um like i said i won't be linking any of that or showing that here on the channel uh, but from the gameplay i'm watching currently uh you do just spawn in in die machina get a little intro cutscene. Um, obviously, you do also get to cr uh, create a class, a uh, custom class. You can choose different weapons you want to start with, perks, all that. Um, there also is um, a round counter, obviously, um, and, and that's in the top right. So kind of cool how Treyarch's doing it this year. They're doing it, uh, the round counter in the top right, uh, not in the top left uh, or the bottom left. Uh, they're actually doing it in the top right this year. Also, uh, notably, zombies have um, health health bars above them now, which is cool. Um, there's definitely an option to turn it off, uh, turn it off in the HUD, so you can also turn off the um, the uh, HUD in um, settings. So you'll be able to do that um, a few times, uh, or you'll be able to do that during games and stuff. Obviously, Die Machina uh, has a part of knocked in it and stuff, and you'll be able to buy doors like normal, uh, purchase them. In this same way, you know, you've always been able to play zombies. There's all obviously wall guns. Uh, you actually start off with your fists, which is a notable uh, feature. Perks are just as normal. Uh, you just buy them uh, just like they've been in the past. Uh, you don't actually spawn with perks or anything, which is cool. I think it's cool how you can just buy the perks like you've been able to in the past with zombies and stuff. Uh, but like I said, notably zombies and uh just everything seems a lot different which is cool like definitely Treyarch's taking a different spin on this uh but it doesn't look too far-fetched or different um from what we've seen in the past uh with like infinite warfare zombies or um black ops War zombies which was definitely a, a bit different spin on zombies um and so this look you know hits a little bit more close to home uh there obviously is a mystery box uh we actually get a mini map now too as well which is cool uh, like I said, the gameplay footage I'm watching currently, unfortunately, guys, I can't show you. Um, but like I said, I'll be playing this at 12 a.m. November 13th, Eastern Standard Time, and we'll be streaming it and stuff. So it's going to get crazy. I'm so excited, you guys, honestly, not going to lie. Uh, Die Machina definitely, you know, from what I've seen, is mainly just a Nocturne Toten remake um, with some, you know, a twist on it, very snowy map. Um, a lot of, lot of wall buys, a lot of doors and stuff, so definitely expanding on Nocturne Toten. Um, Zombies itself this year looks a lot different in the sense that it's not just, um, you know, bare bones, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of stuff you can do. Obviously, there's probably an Easter egg, uh, main quest and all that, and there's also power. Um, I just watched him walk up to a door and try to turn on power. Obviously, you can't turn on power, or you can't buy, go through that door unless you turn on power. Uh, also looks like there's going to be scavengeable stuff like grenades and um, ammo and stuff when you kill zombies. Um, I think he just pulled out a C4. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you obviously, Which is really cool this year too as well. You're going to be getting um, in the top left next to the mini-map. You'll be given uh, where you are in the, uh, in the map, which is cool. Uh, and then there's obviously a um, similar to multiplayer that's had it, I think, in Modern Warfare. You're going to be able to know what direction you're walking in, you know, south, north, all that. And it actually says up in the top uh, center of the uh, the HUD which way you're walking, which direction, and all that. Uh, it, zombies this year also looks a lot more objective-based, which I don't know if I'm just seeing it. Maybe just from a outside look in. I am watching this with no audio. I don't want to watch it with audio. 
don't want to spoil any of the music or sounds. Um, you know, keep in mind, guys, this is a spoiler um, free review or spoiler uh, free of gameplay as, as such. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show any gameplay, so no spoilers there. Just relaying information in the sense that you know you'll be able to. This is what the the map's going to look like and all that. So it looks a lot more quest driven uh, this year, which um, could be good or bad. I feel like it depends on what way Treyarch likes to take it. Um, I feel like they're going to really be focusing on Easter eggs and the completion of zombies, which you'll be able to actually do uh, with that the new uh, horde based style where you can end off a, a match if you survive a, a certain round of zombies, certain certain um, uh, lasting or whatever. So um, it seems really, really bare bones zombies that you know everybody likes, but it also seems like it has a twist. Obviously, the whole creative class thing looks a lot different. Um, I'm gonna actually rewind this and play back. Uh, there's obviously an intro cutscene and a loading screen and everything, but the, when it comes to creating a class and stuff, you'll be able to choose um, obviously from assault rifles, submachine guns, tactical rifles, light machine guns, sniper rifles, pistols, and shotguns. So uh, obviously you'll be able to pick through between a lot of options. Um, and then there's also the uh, Dead Ops arcade mode. And we'll also be able to change uh, the um, the modes to onslaught or uh, I think it said onslaught or round based and I think the onslaught uh, version is the exclusive PlayStation edition that uh, is given to uh, PlayStation users uh, for the first I think it was exclusive for a month um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments um, kinda cool though there's also gonna be a round cap uh, you can get to especially uh, in the custom games I see he's editing this right now really really cool stuff though guys i'm not gonna lie um like i said you guys are gonna want to stick around here on the channel you're also gonna get field upgrades as well um and you're gonna be able to edit a lot of the stuff when it comes to creating a class and zombies too as well now so whether you know you are really into like the, the 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 bare bones version of zombies you'll be able to play it like that or you'll be able to obviously start with a weapon give your guys self or uh, give yourself a like head start into zombies uh, with with a weapon and stuff now, which is which is definitely I feel like for most zombies players um, a different spin on things. Obviously, we got Jug just you, as you guys see on the trailer right here. Jug's coming back, stamina up, um, all that. You're gonna also get um, a, a music player, which is cool, and then player identity, and then Intel. I'm assuming that's more um, objective stuff, so you'll be able to. Get yourself Intel. Um, obviously, Dimashina itself is a really dark map. Um, there's going to be a day and night cycle. I think Treyarch did confirm that already, that uh, there will be some sort of day and night cycle, whether that is turning on the power and that turns to light or whatever. But it is weird because we do see the, the dark mode in the trailer, and then obviously when you spawn in, it's not nighttime. So some sort of way you'll be able to access the uh, night mode, which is cool. Um, overall, bros, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited this year, uh, for zombies, like, I'm gonna be streaming it like crazy, uh, obviously power-ups are still in, I just saw him get blood, uh, blood money, or, uh, yeah, blood money, and, uh, or, like, the extra credit gobblegum, obviously, um, I don't think we're getting gobblegums back this year, which is different, uh, I see him at Jug currently, I don't know if he just got Jug, let me see, the, uh, let's see if I can figure out, uh, I wanna see him drink Juggernog, and I wanna see what that looks like. Uh, buying a wall gun looks the exact same as in the past. As it's done. Really, honestly, a really close quarters map, though. Um, considering, you know, being our first map and stuff, we've had really big maps in the past. Um, kind of cool that we're getting, like, a kind of close quarters, uh, hectic zombies map. I feel like it's been a bit since we've had one of those. And, um, I really, really want to see, uh, drink a perk because that would be really cool i don't know if he's gonna drink a perk though that's the thing though guys is i think you could spawn in with certain upgrades um but you still have to drink perks and stuff uh to get yourself um specifically where you want to go and everything you can also upgrade yourself in the arsenal and then uh there's also a big big pack a bunch room probably really good for training um 
Honestly, bros, this is just the first look, like I said, of what I've seen and stuff. Like I said, I wanted to go through and show you guys. You're actually able to upgrade yourself in the arsenal with armor and such, so that's kind of cool. Uh, whether, you know, you like it or not, you'll be able to... Oh, and Speed Cola looks really cool, actually, so... Wow. It's crazy to think how much there actually is in zombies now. So, um... Hopefully, you know, I was able to give you guys enough of a scoop on uh, what it looks like and everything. You'll be able to uh, purchase things just like, you know, zombies in the past and everything. And um, obviously, the the game looks really, really, really um, interesting and fun. It, it, like I said earlier, it looks very objective-based, so I don't know uh, how, how that's going to play a role in the Easter egg. And I don't know if, you know, we're going to have a main quest and we'll also have, like, side objectives you'll be able to complete during a match. Maybe get yourself... Um, uh, you know, whatever the liquid divinium is in this game, or the um, elixir, gobble gums. Um, I don't really know if we're even getting anything on that in that sense, but because rewinding, I don't think there is any. So. But it's cool how you can have a round cap on zombies now as well, so that's going to be kind of cool. Um, and in the barracks, you can obviously change your player identity, music, uh, intel, all that. Uh, there's also gestures and zombies and accessories. Obviously, the creative class is so you can set up the uh, different weapons you want to spawn in with. But man, I'm super excited to be playing this, guys. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, this gets you guys excited for Call of Duty Zombies uh, for Cold War. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So hopefully, you guys are all excited for that. Like I said, there's a lot of assault rifles, submachine guns, tactical rifles, light machine guns, sniper rifles, pistols, and shotguns in this game. Uh, I'm not going to be spoiling the uh, the weapons or anything. I just kind of want to give you guys a bare bones like review of a reveal of this. Um, obviously, I'm looking at leaked uh, footage, and I don't want to, you know, I can't show you guys, you know, legally and stuff. Um, but hopefully, uh, you guys, you know, are able to check this out and, um, you know. Uh, we'll be checking it out obviously on launch day and stuff you know you don't like I said I don't recommend checking out the leaked footage um, or anything but like I said um, just to give you guys like a little inside scoop of what's gonna be going on um, a little spoiler alert I guess but pretty much the game looks something like really different from what we've seen in the past um, hopefully you guys are excited for uh, Cold Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies and uh, obviously gameplay guys uh, Friday night uh, 12 a.m. Eastern. Be here, guys. November 13th. Be here on the channel. Make sure you guys are sub with that bell on, especially if you're trying to catch some Cold War Zombies gameplay. And uh, yeah, I'll be streaming it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video tonight, make sure you guys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on the bell. Thank you guys for coming out to this video tonight. Um, might have a stream later too as well. Uh, just want to you know give you guys an inside scoop of the leaked gameplay uh, and footage that I've seen of Cold War Zombies. So. Like I said, if you guys you know have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments below. I can try to answer them. Uh, join my Discord if you want to know you know more things, Cold War, zombies, and such. I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop with that, and uh, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date. Oh man, I'm so excited for Cold War zombies, guys. Like I said, make sure you guys are subbed with that bell on, and drop make sure you guys drop a like on this video, especially if you want to see more videos for Cold War zombies. So. Yeah, don't forget to drop a like, drop a sub, turn on the bell, boys, and I'll catch you guys in their video or live stream very, very soon, dudes. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night or day, boys. Peace.